Hello, my name is Daniel and welcome to Twisted Geek. And today we've got nine acrylic stand figures from Timu to show you. Yes, you can get official ones, but some of the official ones can go up to like $20, $25, getting closer and closer to that prize figure price. Whereas places like AliExpress, Timu and Wish.com will sell them a lot cheaper. In my collection, I've got a mixture between real and fake versions of these, and I think the fake versions, most of the time, are actually really good. But let's take a closer look at these ones and we'll see just how good they actually are. We're going to start from the smallest all the way up to the largest one and I'll put all the prices up on screen here as well as if they're still getting sold by that same seller I'll put that seller's information on there as well for you. And for those of you as well who love to see the peel I'm going to make a little montage at the end of all the different peels from all these different acrylic stand figures. First up from Bleach we have two chibi little characters one of Okura and one of Grimjaw. Now these are little chibi versions of themselves which are pretty cool. You can see there's quite a lot of detail in these. The vibrancy of stuff like this as well, like on Grimjaw here, as well as of course Okura. The quality of the print is great. The line work is really nice, nice and crisp and clean. Yes, this normally helps as well when these are a little bit smaller you can get more detail in there compared to say blowing them up which starts losing the detail. But print quality of these is really nice, colour quality is really good and they were pretty cheap. And do not take up much space at all on your shelves. The next two are from Demon Slayer and they're a little bit bigger. This is Nezuko and Tanjiro, still in their little chibi style but slightly larger. And we can see a lot more detail happening in these two. Right down to Nezuko's dress and Tanjiro's top as well, all them little Fine details are actually still there, and the quality again is still there. There's nice punchy colours, crisp clean lines, and no sharp edges at all on these acrylics, which makes it very nice to hold. When it comes to these acrylic stands as well, of course there is two sides. You've got the side here, which is protected by the um, acrylic itself, and of course printed directly on the back. But you can view these from anywhere because the way it is printed, since there's actually no backing upon the print, like, you know, like white back and make it tight, pop a little bit more. The colours are vibrant enough that you can view them perfectly from both angles. We've seen four so far. And what do you think of acrylic stand figures? Have you ever tried these before? You ever bought any before yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. We've still got five more to go and these are going to start getting bigger and bigger. Next up, we have Yuji. Oh, Itad, Itari, Itad, I, can't, I can't see that letter. Tr trying to get in there, it's just not working. We'll just call him Yuji. It was go for, we'll go from that side instead. In this kind of chibi raccoon style form with his little ears and stuff like that. But he's kind of wearing the gear of Sukuna herself. But with not all the eyes and extra little like, tattoos that a Sukuna normally has when Sukuna actually comes out. Brewing some weird portion there. Is it a love portion or is it a death portion? We can't quite tell. There is no issue with this. Nice crisp clean, nice smooth acrylic. All the colours are popping. There's no blurred lines, there's no... This is nothing wrong with it. This itself did actually have a cut going over it, but that was just the clear film on it, which when we're taking that off, it completely disappeared, which I will show you on screen as we're talking here. Now we'll start moving up to the larger acrylic stands. A little bit more expensive, but still well within a nice budget of only a few dollars or so. Again, these are great for going on the shelf. You can get like little stands like I've got in the background there, little like steps which then you can put these on and you can get loads and loads onto a shelf like a Calyx unit here. And you can get these things with more mark of three steps because I've got bigger figures going on them. But the amount of stuff you can get onto these is amazing. But next up we have Death Note and we have Ryuk. I think on this one though, there is some slight issues. And I think one of them issues is actually with Ryuk itself, the image they've actually used to print this. I don't think it's been the best quality because there is blurriness around his face and some of the garments. And because of that as well, some of on the blacks and especially the greys has like a, a dot tone kind of style to it. That could be from stretching the image too far. That could be from the quality of the ink actually used or the quality of the process used when actually printing it. From the front side where the acrylic kind of hides it a little bit, it, it doesn't matter as much and helps darken that black because the black isn't as dark as it maybe should be. But these are kind of the little things that I kind of noticed since I've worked in the print industry for quite some amount of paper and t-shirt and garment printing. And you can see these little details kind of change. But still, I think you'd still be happy to have him on your shelf 
because it's still a cool little one of Ryuk. Now we go back over to another one of my favourites, my favourite series that is Bleach and we have Full Hollow Ichigo. Now this one is insane, this is super cool and a perfect way to show how the blacks actually work when they're done really well. This black is solid, it's very deep and all of the colours around them pop loads and really stand out. If you look very closely, because of how thin the lines are around his horns, it looks a bit jaggedy, but that literally is just down to how thin that line is and the printer can't get to that kind of size. If it had a slightly thicker board around it, you wouldn't have noticed it. It's just something small that I have noticed on it. But overall quality, detailed image use, the pose, because if it's one thing you didn't, you might not have known about me, if you do, you know what, I love bleach. I have bleach posters on the wall, bleach artwork, wall scrolls, it's on me. I've got a vinyl on my computer, it's on my desktop, the whole lot. I absolutely love Bleach. It's just one of them series I kind of grew up with when I was in college and I've loved it ever since. Can't wait for the next part of A Thousand, Blood, a Thousand Year Blood Wars to come out as well, which I don't think that that's too long. I may need to check that just, just in case I've missed the start, but I don't think I have. I think it's still waiting for the third part to come out. We move on to another series. This is what I try to do as well. I try to get acrylic stand figures from multiple different series so we can have a look at the different characters and the different styles as well as the sizes and if I remember correctly this is from Overlord, I know it's from Overlord but this is Ayn's character when he goes into being an adventurer which I think is Momon, Momo, Momo it, it's, it's something like that, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head but that's who the character is let me know down in the comments below exactly what his name is because I've totally forgot and I'm too lazy to google it since we're recording at the moment but look at this though Sorry, when you just opened them, the cat hair gets everywhere. Downside the pets and having figures and stuff. But look how much this colour pops. The blacks are dark. The, the vibrant metal colours. The blues are shining really nicely. They really do pop and look absolutely amazing. The quality of these is insane. If you compare this to a prize figure, yes, it does not, it's not the 3D effect that a prize figure has when it's fully moulded. But this is one thing prize figures cannot do is get this level of detail because it is a print rather than a mold that the price figure is. So if you're up for actually kind of saving some space, even maybe saving some money, but still get the characters that you love from series that you adore, stuff like these acrylic stand figures are absolutely perfect. Save spacing, <laughs> save spacing, <laughs> are perfect for saving space and of course, saving your wallet. Now we go on to the very final one. The awesome one before we actually go in and I'll show you all them nice peels. And we have Hisoka from Hunter Hunter, Hunter X Hunter, Hunter Times Hunter, however which way or which what way and what way and what, sh however, however you want to say it really. And I think this is a perfect one to finish on as well. Nice, decent size, but of course we're going horizontal instead of vertical. And the detail into this is just crazy. There's so much going on here. You've got his like, gum ability, which is in a nice bright pink. The smoke in that around him as well, which is pinks and like, purples. The fire, nice bright oranges. Detail in his top and his garments in his face. You can see right down to his little tattoos under his eyes. There's a lot of detail in here. And this may seem a little bit, bit weird as well, but one thing about these, you can tell by the quality of the print, is really high, but one thing they normally lose on is they use cheaper inks. And cheaper inks smell disgusting. If you've ever used cheaper inks in your home printer, you'll know they smell disgusting and they don't last as long. But there's no smells on these at all. They smell just like, well, plastic really. They don't smell anything of the ink, which is also another bonus. But there we have Hisoka, and there we have nine acrylic stand figures. So what did you think of them? Do you think they were worth the price and the total cost I paid? Which I'll put up on screen right here. If you liked any of them, let me know down below which one was your favourite. And if you're thinking of getting some yourself, or do you have some yourself already? My name's been Daniel, this has been Twisted Geek. Here comes the peels. Enjoy them. Let us have a look.
Uh, hey everyone, just want to say I know it's been a few weeks and so since the last time I actually posted a video there's been a lot of stuff going on within the family work and at home and all that and it just got a little much to a point that just needed that little bit of break, a little bit of breathing room in order to kind of get the head right again and stuff like that and get back into things. I am going to start posting up more videos again, I will start getting back into it. It might be slightly slower um, because of the rest of the top and I've got a reduced time budget and so I need to be careful which what I buy. But if you have any suggestions of kind of stuff you'd like to see as well, please let me know down in the comments and I'll see what I can get and see what we can review and have a good look at. Thank you. Cheers.